अरे सर प्रोग्रामिंग तो एक बहाना है आप सबको मुझे भोगी से योगी बनाना है लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड All right, so let's get started with this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to see, um, actually, I missed this update section here. So I'm going to hit um, update here. And if we go see, we get these two errors because there's no on change method on here. So let's go ahead and um, add that on change method, which is going to be our handle change, um, similar to what we did. But before that, we have to add uh, value. So let's go ahead and set these up because we're updating existing values. Uh, we're going to use the same form format uh, for updating. And instead of this, we can just say title and then post title. And for the content, it's going to be post content. And let me import use state here. So once we have use state, we have values, we can add on change method on here. Uh, so whenever the value changes, it's going to uh, hit that um, update method. So whoops, not here, uh, right here. Okay. And then here, we're going to add on change method. So on change and then handle change. And here, on change handle change. And then instead of post.title, we're going to write values.title. Okay. So go back here and say values.title. There we go. And now refresh. Let's see. And all the errors are gone. We have our values. Now uh, let's go back to Laravel. And um, first, actually, let's see if uh, it's sending a request. I don't think because uh, we haven't added our function for uh, handle submit. So let's go ahead and add that first. So I'm going to say change here. And instead of router post, uh, let me import router first. So import router, which is going to come from inertia react. And here it's going to be patch method. So patch. And instead of this, we're going to have the post. Uh, let's see. So it's going to be post plus the post ID, which we're updating, which is right here. So this is ID six. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's what it is. And um, the post and it's going to go to laravel route so if i go to our web we're going to add that route actually i've already added that behind the scene um so it's a patch route for post uh for the post and the id we're trying to update uh which goes to our post controller and then i named it as a post update so if i go into the controller uh, I have die dump here. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if um, once we hit update, uh, it should show us the values that are going to be updated. So if I come back here and say updated, uh, click on update. So it's still not working. Let's see what's going on here. So patch handle submit because I forgot to give it um, on submit method. So on submit would be handle. And now uh, let's refresh and say updated. Let's go ahead and console log this before we even patch this. So see if we're getting the values, right? So log and then uh, let's do values. See if we get updated here. Update. And then we see that uh, the title has changed to updated and um, our content is the same. Now let's go ahead and send a router.patch to this uh, endpoint and see what comes back. So if I come back here and say updated, and then here you can see it's posting to that route that we uh, created uh, on route web and post controller. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. And then the title is updated, updated. So now uh, the uh, with the magic of Laravel, you just go into Laravel and just uh, do an update request on there. So let's look, uh, take a look at that. All right, so on the Laravel side, uh, we're gonna quickly do a request here. So it's gonna be, so my um, GitHub Copilot is actually giving me a response back, but let me go ahead and explain this. Uh, so you're gonna uh, take that request, validate, Validate it through the validation method. Um, the title is going to be required. So if uh, we don't provide any title, it's going to error out or give us uh, some kind of error. We're going to work on errors uh, completely in a separate video. For now, I just want to complete uh, the CRUD methods and then we'll move uh, to other things. So um, once we validate the response, uh, the request, not response, uh, we're going to find that post that we're trying to add, uh, update and it's going to go ahead and find that. And then um, Laravel provides us with a method called um, uh, update method. So it's an eloquent method that can be used to update a specific post, which we look up. And then from there, uh, we just uh, give the full request uh, for Laravel to update. Although uh, this is not a good practice if you're working with a bigger form, but uh, for uh, the reasoning that um, I have here is I'm just teaching you basics. Uh, once we go into like the advanced level, then we can go uh, dive deeper into all the other nitty gritty stuff. And then here, uh, we'll just return redirect uh, to route post index. If I go ahead and refresh this and say updated, so let's see what happens, uh, update, and there we go. Uh, now you see we have the post request as updated and then all the post, um, uh, we, we come back to the post uh, method. So I hope you're understanding the whole concept uh, with full CRUD uh, using Laravel, React.js uh, and Inertia.js. Uh, the next uh, video, we're going to see how the delete method works um, in Inertia. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Please subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next